Hello and welcome back. Behold, as MSNBC perfectly demonstrates the iron law of woke projection. I would say to your point, Eddie, um, I think the difference, right, is just the sense of grievance that we're seeing in that larger um, right wing megasphere. Oh, right, right. It's the right wing media who have the enormous sense of grievance because it's not like never ending grievance isn't the bedrock of the Democrat party or MSNBC for that matter. Grievance against white people, grievance against men, grievance against capitalism, grievance against Republicans, conservatives, and right wing media, and grievance against the American flag. And I was really disturbed. I saw, you know, dozens and dozens of pickup trucks with, uh, you know, uh, explicatives against Joe Biden uh, on the back of them. Yep. And in some cases, just dozens of American flags, which, you know, uh, is also just disturbing. She's displaying a lot of grievance right this moment, but no doubt she sees it as completely different because her grievances are justified. From here on out, everything these robots say about their nebulous right-wing boogeyman could easily be said about them and what they're doing on this ridiculous panel right now. I promise I'll continue the rest of this clip with minimal stoppages, but first this quick message from Noble Gold. Folks, we are to the point where gas is $7 a gallon in some places. A 10-year-old Honda Civic could set you back 20k and rent is over two thousand dollars a month welcome to 9.2 percent inflation let's go brandon i yeah. agree and it doesn't look like it's getting better anytime soon that's why noble gold has a team of experts at the other end of the phone they'll put you straight on what you can and can't do to get yourself to financial safety again and if you're quick they're giving away an incredible one tenth ounce american eagle gold proof coin with every qualifying ira or 401k rollover call the team now now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. That's noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. You know, that was stoked by Trump, obviously, over the past six years. And this idea that uh, the entire system is rigged, as you said, against the little guy. What? Okay, I'm really sorry to have to stop this again. But did she seriously just accuse Donald Trump of promoting the idea that, as she says, the system is rigged against the little guy? Isn't that the entire Democrat Party left-wing platform? That the system is rigged and systemically racist against the little guy? You're right. It's fact. Trump definitely says that the media is rigged and this stacked panel of all left-wing Democrats definitely doesn't discredit that claim. Um, and I think as we see American democracy has expanded to include uh, different people, including non-white Americans, that along with a changing economy and stressors on the middle class have really combined mm. to create this combustive environment. Oh, God. <laughs> Changes in the economy, she says. And that's all you need to hear from this Biden administration hack who is now spinning 9.2% inflation and $5 gas as changes in the economy. In which, uh, you know, you're looking for somebody, some explanation for uh, what you're seeing around you. And I think, unfortunately, the right wing um, media has been all too quick to... Uh, <laughs> To blame non-white Americans, to blame democratic institutions, and uh, it's essentially, you know, if we don't control it, well then let's burn the whole thing down. Republicans on, 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 on the campaign trail stoking, you know, talking about violence and civil war. So you got conspiracy theories, deep state suspicions here, disagreeing with the background conditions, and then folks are saying the stakes are that these are bitter enemies and that violence are, is on the horizon. It seems that you know, what these folk you're talking about, these, this is a peril to a democracy yeah, itself. I, I mean, I... Didn't she just describe her party and her ideology? Am I alone here? First off, where is her evidence that right-wing media are blaming people of color for inflation, high gas prices, or anything? Those right-wing stickers that you can find on gas pumps that are so popular with the right depict an old white guy. Right-wing media, which I guess is Fox News, 
blames Joe Biden for those things. They blame Democrats. They blame weird ass white left wingers who think kids should be taken to drag shows. Don't you think that if she had any evidence whatsoever of right wing media blaming people of color for anything, that she would have presented it? When I do these videos, I always provide examples to make my case. And I do that specifically so that when people watch these videos, they're actually being informed and they don't just dismiss everything that I'm saying because I haven't provided any evidence. Like right now, I can prove to you that Mara Gay is an unhinged far left extremist who is everything she accuses right wing media of being. Lastly, she claims this right wing boogeyman is attacking democratic institutions and wants to burn it all down if they can't control it. This <laughs> is a level of self delusion that is literally short circuiting my brain right now. As Time Magazine once put it, our nation is still divided along the battle lines of the Civil War. This is clearly not a system that can be reformed because it feels like uh, it's just time to, to, to burn it down, you know? The Founding Fathers didn't recognize abortion as a fundamental right because the Founding Fathers were racist, misogynist, jerk faces. Uh, but it seems to me that it's even too late for this Republican Party, for this Trump Republican Party to reform itself. I think you're absolutely right, Joe. I think it needs to literally be burnt to the ground. Republicans on, 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 on the campaign trail stoking, you know, talking about violence and civil war and that violence are, is on the horizon. You know, what these folk you're talking about, these, this is a peril to a democracy. Yeah, I, I, I think it needs to literally be burnt to the ground. Black lives matter. 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 This is just a symbol of our commitment to ending racism. Racist, 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 racist. What is that saying? Broken. 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 Broken system that's a racist. If you grew up in this country, it's in you. Policing in this country evolved from slave patrol. Defund the police. Defund and dismantle the racist institution of American police. This is what getting involved looks like. Take to the streets. Fight. 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 Fighting. Fighting. Fighting for that better system. The protests. The majority of these folks are peaceful. Peaceful. 99% of the protests have been peaceful. There's a right way to help and a white way to help. All right, I think this gets my point across. They think that they're going to go back to the old ways of policing, that we're going to take to the streets again. There will be riots, there will be fire, and there will be bloodshed. If this country doesn't give us what we want, then we will burn down this system and replace it. Let me also just point out that arson and looting, while illegal, and not things that I support, and I and I think also counterproductive in many ways, are also not necessarily violent. This is a, a war. This isn't a battle. And we absolutely will win this war. It is a war. It is indeed a war. And I have to say, they have won some battles, Jasmine, but we, we have to keep our eye uh, on the war, and, and everybody needs to pick up a weapon and, and get involved. This is not like Libya. It's not like Syria. Well, it is, and it's well on its way. It's, so we are well on to our way to a multi-year campaign. That we're already two years uh, into this campaign where we will may have to fight they, the they in my title, and the they in my title who want to kill Americans are your neighbors. Um, I think the difference, right, is just the sense of grievance that we're seeing in that larger um, right wing megasphere. And uh, it's essentially, you know, if we don't control it, well, then let's burn the whole thing down. All right. That's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. If you found it informative, please hit that like button, share the video and leave a comment to let us all know what you think. Thanks a lot.